Hello everybody, my name is Antoninus, and welcome to another episode of Ruby Chibi Reactions. I don't know why I copied the Nostalgia Critics, like, head bob when it says hello, but whatever, I just did. This episode of Ruby Chibi is called The Fixer, and from the thumbnail, it looks like it's going to be a very heavy on Tai Yang. And he's sort of wearing a blue cap in the thumbnail, so I'm assuming this is, well, with the way these past few episodes have been going, they've been referencing a lot of, like, old shows. So I'm going to assume that they're referencing another old show, and the only sort of old-timey show I can think of is possibly maybe, like, Bob the Builder or Tim the Toolman Taylor sort of thing. I feel like it's going to be more the Toolman Taylor than it is Bob the Builder because I'm pretty sure Bob the Builder is a UK like exclusive kid show. So I believe that's how it's going to go with Tim the Toolman Taylor. I can't remember the actual name of the show. I just remember the uh, character, but whatever. And all I can say is we're we'll getting closer and closer to the end of Chibi. Starting from the next video, I'm going to possibly chuck in my predictions for Volume 5, just sort of after the reaction and mini review. So if you guys are interested, let me know your theories in the bottom, because I currently only have maybe like three theories that I really want to like work on. So I hope you guys do put your theories down and get involved and let me know what you think is going to happen because according to the internet there's quite a bit supposed to happen in volume 5. These are just rumours and nothing official from Rooster Teeth and speaking of Rooster Teeth click the link in the description to watch the video over there first before you watch it on my channel any other channel Make sure you watch it on their channel originally, then come back to ours. That's how this works. And with that said, hopefully you've already done it. Let's get straight into Ruby TV episode 18, The Fixer. Ruby TV. Guys, oh. we got a leak. Oh, somebody call a plumber. And we're going. Someone could use a little help. Yeah, we're going straight into the, the fixer. Okay, no, nope. just need a plumber. What have I always told you girls? As long as I'm around, you never have to pay for plumbers, electricians, ignore that, or dentists. Uh what? my middle name. Hey, did you see no. a here anywhere? That's gonna go off and it's gonna just Ugh, Bumblebee, come on. Maybe it's time for no, a No, 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 no. Ty, don't Dad, touch it. No, I have a mechanic. Oh, Okay, yeah, that's fine. Hey, at least let me start a bonfire for you so you can throw all your money in it because that's what you're going to do by going to a... Don't mechanic. touch Bumblebee. Oh, and while you're at it, throw my corpse in the fire too because apparently I'm dead to you. Jeez, okay. Fine. No. Do your fixer thing. No, 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 no. Look at that. Good as new. Oh, Newish. Oh, Last time I saw someone fix a bike like that, it sort of blew up. Junior detective. <laughs> Ruby in the back. Okay. We got the junior detectives in this time. What's going orphans. on? <gasps> orphans. What is on your face? We want to be junior oh my god. like you. Yeah, we're she detectives. Right. <laughs> Look, it takes way more than a yeah. mustache to solve cases. Prediction for this, they're gonna show him up. You have traces of chocolate under your fingernails. There's a wrapper in your left pocket. Your pupils are dilated from shame. I deduce you ate Neptune's candy bar. Judy, you said all of the grim work together. Oh my! It. I'm Bloody sorry. God. I was starving, and you never share. Okay, that was a lucky guess. It doesn't make you a detective. Look what I found. What the? Dude, I think they got better mustaches than us. <laughs> Whoa, we have a closet? No bones about it. Yeah! Uh... 
reference to CSI Miami. I'm getting better at picking these reference up. No, 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 no. Nothing is busted when the fixer is around. The fixer needs fixing. You can fix the computer? Computer? Uh, yeah, sure, of course I can do that. Um. Um. Right. Wait, did they deliberately do that? Cursor. Right. Well, nothing happens when I click on anything. So give him technology. Oh, Yang, the man never learned how to change his wallpaper. <laughs> Ruby, this thing says you have cookies. You know those are bad for your... Teeth. Oh, my days. So that's how you distract Tai Yang. Stick him in front of a computer. I would love to see him try it and manage a program like Excel or something. All right, it's time for the usual. Let's give the skits a bit of a review. The first one, the fixer. I didn't point out anything that showed it were a direct reference to something, but uh, it is a reference to something I know, but I just didn't point anything out. So if you guys picked it up on it, let me know in the comments. But yeah, pretty much Tai Yang should never be allowed to touch anything that needs fixing. He is, like, the stereotypical handyman around the house type of thing. That he's gonna try and fix everything, but utterly fuck it up. As in, fixing a faucet, turn it into a bloody fountain. I just don't know what to say about it, but good on him for trying. He gets A for effort. The second skit is actually called Junior she Detectives. They were there for maybe ooh, not even a minute, and they already solved more on-screen sort of crimes than the junior detectives have in the past two seasons. Other than maybe Neptune pushing a little trash can saying it's not up to code in the first season. But having Pyrrha point out that Sun ate Neptune's candy literally just because of Chocolate on his fingernails, the wrapper in his pocket, and his pupils being dilated from shame. I didn't even know that was a thing. And then, Nora literally pulling skeletons out of the closet. And then the little ending reference to CSI Miami. So, that was all well and good. And then the last one was just uh, the fixer part two. Stick Tai Yang in front of a computer and he'll be there for hours. And I did catch the little joke just at the end there when it popped up saying that the computer used cookies. That's what was sort of going on, just in case you guys can't see it when it's in the little bottom screen or if I was talking over like that particular joke. But yeah, that's usually the case with most parents that we can all relate to. Stick them in front of a PC and they don't know what they're doing. To be honest, I really don't know what I'm doing with most P of like the PC stuff. A lot of the time whenever my PC is playing up, I just turn it off and turn it back on and it works. That's a universal fix it. I'm Mr. Fix it. No, I'm not. No. no. If anything, I just broke the joke. I'm Mr. Break it. Hey, sorry, I regret doing that. I apologize to all of you and I now hate myself for it, but whatever. Like I said before the video, make sure you go went over to Rooster T's channel and watch it over there. Liked it, subscribe to their channel, subscribe to my channel for the reactions. And from next episode onward, after every little mini review, I'm gonna throw in at least one of the so-called predictions for volume 5 what you guys want to, to like see and I have a tiny little theory of something really bad gonna happen yeah I would like to just point out when I do say it please don't hate me it's just I've been thinking for maybe like a week and this kind of makes most sense. But you'll have to wait until the next reaction to hear it. So like, share, subscribe. Latest.